Some openings and closings real quick. Yeah. Uh, it was so sad when Jill's chicken cl- shack closed. We were sad about that. Mm-hmm. Mike's, Little Mike's Barbecue. Yeah. In Idaho Falls. They're still open in Rigby. Yeah. I was so bummed about that, though, because I really wanted to try it. That's a bummer. Yeah. Um, what else closed? Oh, um, Sweeto Burrito closed. What? Yeah. Wait, I heard that that was a hoax. No. They're, they're really closing. I guess there's a chicken place coming. So mm-hmm. Cold Stone isn't closed. They're just um, remodeling. Okay, good. And Honey Baked Ham isn't going to make December 11th. Jeez Louise. They're These guys got to gotta get their back. stuff together. Re- well, remember, I checked it out a couple of weeks ago, and they were nowhere ready to go. Right, I was right. wondering if they were going to hit the December 11th mm-hmm. uh, grand opening date, and it doesn't look like they're going to. I can promise you it's worth the wait. It's, oh my God, so good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, you know what just opened? Huh? Hokkaido over on this side of town. Yes, Hokkaido and Ammon. Yeah. If you're looking for, like, um, it's really expensive ramen, but it's a really, it's a relatively cheap meal. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you're used to paying 85 cents for a package <laughs> of ramen. Right. It's expensive ramen. Right. But it's really good. We both love that place. Oh, absolutely. Whether yeah. you're a meat or a chicken or a pork person. I think they even have vegan and, well, maybe not vegan, but definitely vegetarian options. Yeah. Yeah. Also, Ryder Park Sled Hill finally opened. I think they had a date mm-hmm. of, they wanted to open on Thanksgiving. Didn't quite make it. Like 500 yeah. people were there. I, I wondered about, I had an idea and- you know how um, Christopher Columbus didn't know if he was a genius or an idiot until he crossed the ocean? I don't know if this is a genius or an idiot thought, Carly. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't it be cool to go down a sled hill in a turtle pool, a little kitty pool? I see what you're thinking. Now, that being said, I really feel like only the lid of it would be the correct shape. Because where the bottom's flat with those ridges, I don't know if I'm it talking would... about like fitting... Two or three people, maybe even four, depending on their size, four kids, Mm -hmm. in a regular size kiddie pool that, you know, you buy for the 4th of July weekend and and fill up with a hose. Sorry. Yeah. In a kiddie pool. I'm sorry. For some reason, I was uh, imagining a sandbox. You could try that, too. I think that the sandbox (laughs) would be a terrible idea. The kiddie pool, I love the idea of. I mean, I wonder if you brought a kiddie pool, if you could somehow fit it in your vehicle. To the sled hill, yeah. like, do they ban certain kinds of things you can sled down the hill with or whatever you can bring you can sled down on? I bet it's whatever you can bring because who's going to stand up there and stop you? I don't know why, but I just want to see that or yeah. try it. I'm down. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We can get a group of friends together. Right. And- well, and it's probably cheaper than buying a sled. Yeah. I remember going sledding once and realizing when we got to the hill that we had nothing to sled on. Oh. You know what I did? What? I took my coat off. I stuck my legs through the armholes. Smart. <laughs> That's a good idea. I was freezing. Sure. But I got to sled once. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. 